I quit. I'm sorry, I just, I quit. <laughs> Hey guys, so something that I was always very wanting to do during my whole entire pregnancy with Adeline is breastfeed. I was not able to breastfeed with Declan whatsoever. Like, there was no um, breastfeeding with Declan. I don't know why. I never lactated. I never, I did, I had tried all those crazy things that you try and I had tried all <laughs> I had gone to lactation consultants and all that stuff and nothing just nothing would get me to lactate with Declan so I wanted to really lactate <laughs> and breastfeed with Adeline and when I got the chance to it was the most amazing experience of my life and um, it was also the very weirdest and happiest and scariest <laughs> and all that stuff and I'll be sure to leave my first breastfeeding experience up in the eye in the sky and you can watch that there. So getting into the reason why I say I'm quitting is multiple multiple reasons. Um, the first one is it is so hard on me mentally. I understand the amazing benefits that it gives for both me and her. And to be honest, I haven't experienced that great bonding experience that a lot of mothers get. And I don't know if it's because with Declan, I felt more bonded with him as I bottle fed him. And also I felt more, I don't know, I, I loved watching Clifton feed Declan. And I loved watching Adeline be fed by Clifton the other day and I'll go ahead and insert that clip um it'll also be in her four month update so this will be kind of cut short so I love seeing that and I also love seeing Declan feed her which here's another short clip And it was just so great. But that doesn't answer why I am quitting breastfeeding in general. Um, I'm not really quit. <laughs> I mean, I say I qu I'm quitting, but there's multiple reasons as to why. I haven't, um, I've produced quite a bit for not being able to produce with Declan. And being able to produce with her has been quite amazing. And I keep looking down because she's laying right here and she's just like zoned out. She's not even asleep. It, it's been an amazing experience. I'm going to say that quite a bit because I, it has been a battle. Um, it had, she's 20 days, 22 days old now. And it's been a battle from the very beginning for the past 22 days. It has been a battle in my mind, it has been a battle on my body and my mentality emotionally physically and not to mention that it has hurt Clifton not being able to feed his child uh, like I said I never ex I haven't like I've enjoyed it breastfeeding but I have not had that bonding experience that everyone talks about I have not I will not pump I guess is the answer or the reason for some reason, my supply has started to go down and I have tried uh, fenugreek, I have tried oatmeal, oatmeal cookies, lactation cookies, I have tried home remedies, and the only thing I have not tried is pumping, but pumping and buying a breast pump is kind of expensive and I just can't afford that in this time and manner. Um, like I said, it has been a battle. I have battled within myself because it was just one of my biggest goals to do with Declan or do with Adeline because I did not get to do it with Declan. So not being able to do it or being able to do it with Adeline has been great but it has taken such a toll on me and my body and like I said everything and I literally could not shower for longer than a minute because she's just like I said, my supply had started to go down, so she's just hungry 24-7. And there is a possibility that I would not be able to breastfeed her after my four-week checkup anyway because I might be having another procedure that will be discussed later on when I do go in on the 20th for my... Uh, 
four week checkup. So right now, since I still had a supply, we decided to supplement and go ahead and roll supplement until my supply either dwindles down to nothing or it, I have my procedure if I have my procedure. Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm about to cry, but, um, like I said, it, it was a great experience. I'm glad I got to experience it. And if somehow it just picks up and I don't have my procedure, then I will definitely still breastfeed. But as of right now, I'm, I'm quitting. And, uh, buying formula kind of, it, it hit me in the heart a little bit just because I have worked so hard to just get to where I am. She... She takes it. She doesn't mind it. She, I guess she just, she's like, okay, it's food. I don't really care, mom. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about a little bit about her formula. I'm not going to talk a lot about it because it's only been three days since she's been on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to tell you what bottle we uh, are using right now. That might change later on. This was just a bottle that was given to us and I was just like, okay, let's try this one. Uh, with Declan, we tried 14 different bottles and he ended up liking the cheapest one. So we are using the Advent, yeah, it has milk in it, sorry. It ha we are using the Advent Philip. I love you. I love you too, baby. We are using the Advent Philip bottle with the um, <coughs> extra small nipple, I guess. It's uh, the one that's closest to the breast in this brand. So far, this bottle has been great. Not really many problems except when she's just like, I really don't want this, mom. Um, she also likes it warmed up to, I guess, a little bit above room temperature which I can understand and the formula that we chose most people go with Simulac, Sim Simulac formula and with Declan we just had so many problems with Simulac formula I didn't really want to try a store brand so we went with this the Infamil newborn formula and I went ahead and got the big container just because well for some reason my store next to us did not have like the small little um cans so of this one they had the one for zero to 12 months but i wanted to get the newborn they also have a supplementing one but once again my store didn't have that either so i just went ahead and went with the newborn my friend had actually recommended it because she supplemented with this one before they had the supplementing uh formula so so far it has been good um i would say she's gassy but this child is always gassy so that's not anything new um it's technically not because we first gave her the bottle at like eight o'clock at night uh two days ago and every every feeding that i could tell that she wasn't getting enough i would go ahead and feed her more i would feed her the formula instead of just sitting around doing two hours of feeding her just so she can sleep for 20 minutes and wake up hungry again so i would feed her and like feeding her and seeing her full it did hurt my heart a lot it just showed that i have not been able to i have not been feeding her all the way i just want to go ahead and put this video out there plus i am behind on so many videos but i wanted to get this video up because it's one of the ones that needed to be said and it's part of our journey and i will update more but like i said right now it's just this is the update and um stay tuned for like a mass upload of videos because they're all coming very soon like probably like one after another so I hope you enjoyed this and now she's asleep so I can't pick her up to show you but uh yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye